Hi, I'm Pete, and welcome to Just a Few Acres Farm. Today, Henry and I are going to start on actually building the pig pen, which is it's taken a long time to get it cleared out because it was full of junk. And now it's time to start putting the fencing up and get those little pigs in here for the winter. The first thing we're going to do is put up this gate. And to put up this gate, we got to dig a post hole. I've dug about a million post holes on this farm, and it's always an interesting job. <laughs> We have some big rocks here. Before we get started on that, I want to ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's really easy. All you got to do is hit that little button down in the corner and to be notified whenever we put up a video, which is twice a week these days, hit that little bell thingy and you'll get an email whenever we put up a video. Are you ready to get to work, Henry? Yeah. First thing we got to do is establish where the post's going. And the easiest way to do that, I don't need the tape measure, take this gate, and this is where it's going to set, like this, just in line. And then our post needs to go right about here. So we'll mark it with the shovel. There we go. Get the gate out of the way, Henry. And now we dig. A long and slow process. Yeah, well, the first six inches are pretty easy, and then who knows what we run into. Mm -hmm. Rocks and pieces of family history, although there's not a lot back in here that we would find. So what we're going to use for attaching the hog panels to the posts are fencing staples and they're barbed. These suckers are really hard to get out once they come in because they got these barbs sticking out here. And the pigs are rough on things. They tend to get their nose under things and push up on them. So hopefully these will keep them secure. Well, it's another day and Henry's in school, so I'm going to finish this probably by myself. I got to do a little bit of work. I put up some more of the fence panels. Now it's time to pull this old tractor out and then I can finish up the fence panels, put the straw in, put the piglets in, and we're good to go. So let's get to it. It's jobs like this that remind me of something I learned when I was working on the house. And that's that menial jobs can be meaningful. 99% of farm work is menial. Digging holes, shoveling manure, picking rocks, cutting wood. And I actually enjoy all that stuff because, heck, if I have sore muscles at the end of the day, I know I accomplished something. And I can walk past what I do here on the farm, or what I've done, and take pride in it. The full woodshed, heat for the winter. This post that Henry and I set, I'll walk past that and remember the day that my son and I set that post. It's just a post, I know. But it's something we did with our own two hands. I worry about the way society's going because society says that's not that important. Don't learn a trade, don't learn a craft. Go do something with your head because that's where you're going to make the money and that's where you're going to have success to buy more stuff, to go on more vacations, 
I found after 20 years of pursuing just that rat race that that stuff is not satisfying. It didn't make me happy. Yes, I went out and bought new cars and things like that and they might have made me happy for a short period of time but not in the long run they just make you want the next thing i got off that train and i couldn't be happier now all righty gate check That is a whole lot of pigs. These heat lamps will give the pigs some comfort anyway. And it's supposed to get down to like 10 or 15 degrees tonight, so I think they'll appreciate it. Light. All right, perfect cob job. Well, the pigs seem happy in their new digs. They're dry, they're warm, they're out of the wind and they should grow well in here for the winter. As they get bigger, we'll expand this pen back into where that pile of lumber is and um, they'll have more room to grow. 19 pigs in here looks like a lot of room right now, but as they get bigger, it's gonna get a little crowded. They'll grow in here till April of next year and then we'll start sending them off to the butcher at about 300 pounds and they'll be just in time for summer pork barbecue season next year. Thanks for joining me. 
and I hope you have a good day.